Okay. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you guys. Sorry for some technical issues. Couldn't join for the first time. Do you hear me? Hello, yes, we hear you. Hi, nice. Let's maybe wait just a minute so more people can join. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, let me first introduce myself, who uh, yeah, doesn't know me. Uh, my name is Victor Bruce. I'm uh, assistant professor at physics department. And uh, I'm glad that this semester will um, work with you during our course, Physics uh, 162. And uh, um, we will focus on such topic of general physics as uh, electricity, magnetism, and optics. That is <clears throat> general introduction. I see already more people are joining. Um, so how are you doing, guys? And uh, how? Uh, where are you now? So as I understand, you are not allowed on campus. So you stay uh, at your places. Is it true for all of you or someone is on campus? Someone is on campus. OK, that's that's great. I'm on campus too. Mm -hmm. OK, there are some, you know, motive. Yeah, it is unfortunately already uh, quite established situation that we uh, deliver our like big lectures, um, lecture courses um, online because of difficult uh, epidemiological uh, situation. Um, hopefully soon this will be normalized. Unfortunately, uh, nowadays we need to continue our online uh, studying, but we are not doing this um, for the first time. So we already have some experience and also you guys already have experience from the first semester. Um, so I believe that um, things should go uh, well and everything will be um, fine during the semester. <clears throat> okay, so uh, probably let us um, spend this uh, online uh, meeting, uh, our first meeting uh, in terms of discussing um, the, some organizational moments of our course and uh, answering some questions if you have uh, about the organization uh, of the course. Um, so I believe it would be the best if we uh, look through the manual, which I have already sent you. Um, yeah, there is a question how I get on campus. So you mean, are you asking each other or you're asking me? So if you're asking me, I just arrived just from the from the uh, airport. So uh, as for students, um, that is a good question. I believe you will establish some connection with each other within this uh, course in some chats. So it will be uh, easier to share information and more efficient way. <clears throat> so let me try to share my screen. I believe you should see my screen now. And this is our course manual, which I have sent you awesome. uh, a link to this manual. And uh, here you can find all um, necessary information, uh, which will um, help to understand how our course is structured and organized. Um, 
So first of all, let us focus probably on the most important things. This is like your uh, evaluation, uh, evaluation of your uh, efficiency during the course. Uh, in terms of your final grade, there will be three main contributions to your final grade. So first will be weekly assignments, um, as we had similar as we had previous uh, semester. So it will contribute 20% of your final grade. So you will get um, about 10 problems each week um, to solve during whole week and submit answers via long cup. Uh, first week, you don't have any homework. Second week, you will have um, some uh, homework as an exercise, so you will not be graded for that. And starting from the third week, um, your homework will be uh, graded. So the most important contribution to your uh, final grade, which counts 60%, uh, will originate from two midterms and final exam. So in previous semester, we had three midterms. This semester, we will try to uh, organize it with uh, two midterms and final exam. All of them, they have uh, equal weight. Uh, so there will be no difference between uh, contribution of midterms and final exam to the uh, final grade. And uh, the final contribution is uh, laboratory assignments. So there will be laboratory works. Um, since we have shorter semester this um, year, like spring semester, uh, there will be some adjustments with laboratory, number of laboratories which you need to carry out. Uh, but they will contribute to the final grade 20%. Um, so talking about first two contributions, like weekly assignments and um, midterms and final exam, the lowest grade um, will be not counted uh, towards your final grade. So that will be automatically um, deleted. That is applied in order to adjust uh, as much as possible like, uh, to our current uh, conditions, uh, because there could be many different reasons why you didn't have access to internet or um, could not be in time uh, available for some uh, midterm or final exam, also like personal or health issues. Um, it is very difficult to organize these things while you are not um, regularly uh, uh, studying uh, in person. So that's why in order to address these issues, uh, we have um, such conditions. Uh, we have also textbooks. So here we have links to these online textbooks, uh, which uh, should be considered as the primary information source for the whole uh, course. And uh, if we take a look here in this uh, table, uh, it is quite well structured in terms of uh, recommendations which chapters um, should be uh, studied and uh, understood during which time intervals. Uh, this schedule is made for whole semester. So additionally, besides these chapters in the recommended textbooks, uh, are also several um, video lectures recommended on the same topic. So to diversify your um, learning experience and make it more easier for you to uh, find similar topics online. So this is done for whole semester. Here with red is specified um, when we have uh, midterm exam, like first midterm exam, it will be uh, 26th of 
um, February. Then we have second midterm exam, which is also mentioned in this um, schedule. And final exam is not mentioned here because it's still not clear, um, not known when exactly final exam will be scheduled. However, uh, first two, uh, like first and second midterms, um, they are scheduled and you already pay attention when it should happen. Obviously, um, I will uh, remind you, uh, I will send an email um, before midterms. Um, however, please keep an eye on these dates so you have um, better understanding when it is necessary to uh, be ready for uh, midterms so you can perform at your highest level. <clears throat> Let's come back a little bit higher. And here is information on Long Kappa. Um, you already have experience with Long Kappa, so it's not new platform for you. Um, however, as experience shows, um, unfortunately, students continue to make some um, technical mistakes while submitting answers with uh, not in a wrong format, and they just lose uh, points making such unnecessary mistakes. So please be very uh, careful with Long Kappa. It has very strict requirements for the format. And uh, also, um, uh, take care when you log in in Long Kappa uh, during midterms and final exam. Um, be sure that you log in um, prior to the start of the exam. So if you log in in the final uh, minute, um, that could be uh, could cause some uh, problems if there are many people like you. So someone uh, raised the hand. Yeah, you are welcome. You can interrupt me if you have any questions so we can discuss them. Um, hi, Mr. Victor. Um, I had a couple hi. of questions. So um, first is just to sum up, um, the exam with the lowest grade will drop, right? So even if it's uh, the final exam with the lowest grade, it will drop, right? Yes, you are right, since they have equal weight. Okay, so um, uh, the other. However, two excuse have... me, I I interrupt you at this moment. Uh, however, it doesn't mean that uh, it in any way encourages you guys uh, not to pass any of these exams. So it is only for case of emergency um, that you physically could not do this. But uh, obviously, it is necessary to do all your best to pass all exams, like two midterms and final exam. Um, so you will need to get your grades for each of these exams, and then the lowest will be dropped. Yeah. Okay, and um, the other question, like two best exams will have uh, the 30% weight of the total grade, right? Yes, yes. Okay, and the other question, um, it's in the chat also, like, will the laboratory assignment with the lowest grade be dropped? Uh, with laboratory, I don't think so. Can clarify this, uh, double check. Uh, but uh, obviously more accurate information with laboratory, uh, you can um, get from laboratory assistant and uh, laboratory coordinator. Um, so they uh, will provide you all um, detailed information on laboratories. Uh, however, uh, as far as I know, uh, we have this only for uh, exams. Since um, it requires you to be in specific time online um, available for uh, doing this, we cannot repeat these um, exams technically. Um, since we have hundreds of students. And uh, that's why in order to address possible issues, we drop the lowest grade. Um, it does not make much sense to apply it for um, uh, 
uh, laboratory works because uh, you have much higher flexibility in terms of uh, doing laboratory works. Okay, thank you a lot. You're welcome, no problems. Ask um, questions if you uh, have any. Uh, so with long kappa, again, I underline your attention that this is um, uh, repeat, unfortunately repeating issue with many students um, that they uh, lose uh, points with um, very simple unnecessary mistakes. So that uh, should be uh, kept, kept in mind. Um, so our format of work, so is, if you can see here, uh, this um, online uh, classes should be considered as flipped classes. So the idea is that uh, you work with the textbook um, and uh, um, come to online uh, classes with um, some questions, which we can discuss uh, during um, these online classes. Um, experience shows that um, usually it doesn't work very well uh, because students um, don't come up with many questions. So from my side, I will deliver um, online lectures. I will uh, explain concepts of physics in the scope of our program. Um, we'll derive with you um, main like key um, equations uh, which uh, quantify those concepts uh, we are going to discuss. And on the way, we will obviously um, also discuss um, questions which originate from you guys. So you are um, very welcome to um, actively participate in our work. Um, also, I would like to highlight that um, besides several examples, just to um, make it more clear the explanation of uh, physics concepts, uh, we will not uh, deal with solving some like real solving problems. For that purpose, you will have recitations. That will be a uh, main platform where you will practice um, uh, solving uh, problems. Uh, lectures are specifically dedicated for your um, understanding of physics behind those problems you are going to solve. Um, so that is very important because um, unfortunately, specifically under this online um, studying experience, it is difficult to evaluate your understanding of physics, understanding of physics concepts um, <clears throat> and the origin of um, main um, equations. Um, so we will evaluate you mostly by your um, ability to solve uh, physics problems. However, these factors like, are quite related to each other. Uh, knowledge of physics concepts, understanding of these concepts and um, ability to solve problems. Um, in any way, uh, it will not go one without another uh, part. So our um, main goal during lectures to focus on uh, physics concepts and their understanding. Uh, what else I would like to highlight? Um, Excuse me, excuse me, Professor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask about, uh, so last semester you sent us a link with a YouTube channel where you keep uh, your, where you kept your recordings of this yes. online sessions. So is there a link uh, for this channel? Yes, uh, yes. In this semester? It's, yeah, it's a good question. So um, that's what also should be highlighted. Thank you. Uh, email. Yeah, yeah. So all our online classes will be recorded and uh, uh, they will be available for um, you anytime um, online. So there is a link in that email, which I send you to the um, playlist uh, where I will upload all um, lectures as we proceed further along the semester. 
So they will be available for you online on any time. So that is um, my decision to um, provide you additional um, flexibility in terms of um, asynchronous um, uh, studying. So if you miss any of our lectures, online classes, uh, they will be available. So you can um, go, or maybe you miss some a part of it or didn't understand some uh, explanations. So there will be a uh, possibility to uh, watch them online. Okay, what else Sorry, do we question, may I ask? Yes, sure. You are welcome to ask you all your questions. Format of uh, exam. Will be there any type of proctoring? Uh, you mean uh, in format of exam? So what yeah. do you mean? I mean, uh, will be there any type of proctoring system? Or without proctoring? Ah, uh, so with regarding this question so again uh we like me personally and all our uh, physics instructors uh, we uh, do believe in your academic honesty and uh, uh, without any uh, reasons uh, we don't suspect anyone in uh, cheating so that's why uh, if such reasons show up over semester, then some measures will be applied. However, uh, we start from uh, our professional relationships from trusting each other. And uh, that's why um, we provide and rely on your responsibility to um, follow the uh, rules and uh, solve problems uh, without some external uh, help. So that's why it will be similar as uh, previously. There could be like different um, variants for problems for uh, different uh, students, but um, active uh, proctoring is not um, planned. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any additional questions? Excuse me, Professor. Yes. How many long couples do we have? 12 or 13? Uh, what do you mean 12 or 13 long couples? Okay. It's like any problems for exam or? I mean the amount of weeks. Ah, okay. So as I mentioned, so we have uh, like first uh, homework. First week you will not have homework. Second week you will have homework for practice, which will not be evaluated. And starting from the third uh, week, counting from uh, this week, um, you will get homework which will be evaluated and will contribute eventually to your homework or to your final grade. Yeah, there is a raised hand. You're welcome with your question. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Bruce, I have a question. Our sure. semester started like uh, two weeks later. Does that mean mm -hmm. that or our, our lessons will be like uh, so it means that we adjusted a bit the program and uh, uh, some um, topics which are not so uh, uh, critical, uh, they were eliminated from the uh, program in order to uh, adjust it to the shorter semester. So that was decision um, of um, our administration that semester will be um, shorter. 
uh, so we will not extend it further. Uh, and uh, that's why uh, the program was adjusted. So we will have regular uh, schedule. So we will have three um, lectures per week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, 50 minutes each uh, lecture. So that will be our uh, structure of the course. And uh, uh, in order to address this issue with uh, two missed weeks, uh, the program was adjusted. Uh, sorry about the final exam. Uh, yes, yes, sure. In, in final exam, will be there uh, the all topics summarize at all, or just the section of topics, maybe? Uh, okay, good question. So, um, midterm uh, one and midterm two, it will be uh, topics will be divided. So, obviously, for midterm one uh, will be first half, midterm two, second half, and final exam will include questions. Um, from all course. So we need to cover all topics in the final exam. Uh, Aydar Khan. Uh, yeah. You're welcome. I just wanted to ask about uh, the previous question about the uh, shortening of the semester. So mm -hmm. Manuel has taken it into consideration, right? Yes, yes, it's okay. taken into consideration. So uh, program was adjusted in order to um, provide uh, enough time for students uh, and for instructors to cover all planned uh, materials. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? So guys, I believe that uh, for the first uh, online meeting, we had already quite um, a lot of organizational information. And uh, um, I also think that at the beginning, so it's the first day of the semester, you also have some um, other uh, paperwork or organizational questions to be solved at the beginning. I think that now I will not take uh, more of your time. Uh, so we discussed key organizational questions. If you have any uh, questions related to the uh, structure and organization of our work uh, during this semester, um, you're welcome. Uh, if you have them a bit later, we still can dedicate maybe uh, 10 minutes during our second uh, class, online class, which will be on Wednesday. And uh, uh, with that, we will start our um, material, discussing our material and uh, physics concepts, starting from electric, uh, electrostatic um, and uh, defining electric charge, uh, defining main properties of electric charges and going further with uh, introducing concepts of uh, this uh, field of science. Um, any additional questions for today? Can I ask one last question? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, do we have a long kappa this week? Uh, no, this week you will not get any assignment on Long Kappa because it takes time to uh, create your uh, um, profiles also in Long Kappa, like not create, you should already have them, but like double check if all of them are updated. Um, so uh, this week you don't get any assignments. Um, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay thank you. Uh, I just want... I just wanted to ask how many problems do each exam and each 
uh, homework will contain. I mean, regularly homework is like uh, pro approximately 10 problems and the exam is approximately six problems. So it will be the same for this course, right? Yeah, it will be in the same frame. So I okay. don't guarantee that it will be exactly these numbers, uh, but uh, it will be in the same uh, range. Okay, thank you. Yeah, with this regard, there will not be many changes. One more question about sure. uh, Zoom classes. Informal, mm -hmm. we have three Zoom classes. Uh, and uh, will we study all three Zoom classes? Uh, yes, yes, we will have every uh, week three classes. All of them. Uh, can you repeat, please? Is it compulsory to attend all? Yeah. Ah. Is it okay, compulsory so, to attend all of them? Yeah, yeah, I understand your question. So, uh, look, that's important uh, moment also to discuss. Um, from one side, I would say, yes, it is necessary to come to online classes, but taking into account our um, nowadays conditions with online studying, it may be not uh, possible or technically uh, challenging. So um, it is okay if you miss online classes, we don't check who attend and who doesn't. So that will not have direct impact on um, your final grade. Um, plus all classes are recorded and they are available online. So you can check them um, any convenient time. Uh, however, I strongly encourage all of you guys to uh, come to uh, attend these online classes because um, that is uh, very useful to discuss um, these questions with uh, more people, have feedback from uh, students, like my uh, explanation and also some um, response from uh, the audience. Uh, however, it is not mandatory, and that's why um, I hope you guys don't forget to attend online classes, and most of you, I believe, will uh, regularly attend, but if you miss some, it's not a problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Any additional questions? Okay, then thank you for uh, attending this online uh, lecture. It was my pleasure to uh, discuss with you our uh, plans for this semester. And uh, um, hope to see all of you next. Uh, online class, which will be on Wednesday. So you use the same uh, Zoom link. It's a recurring uh, uh, Zoom meeting. Uh, so we will start our um, discussion and uh, we'll start from uh, electrostatics. Okay, then have a good day. Uh, double check that you uh, organize everything properly at the beginning of semester, uh, what have to be done and uh, uh, double check everything. I wish you a successful uh, semester this spring and uh, hope that everything will work fine. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, goodbye. Thanks. Have a good thank day. You. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, goodbye. goodbye. Thank you, goodbye. Thank you, goodbye. Thank you, goodbye. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. guys. Bye-bye. Uh, there is one more question, Yenlik. You are welcome. Sorry, may I ask a little uh, personal question? Yeah, sure. You're welcome. Where will be your lectures? Like, can you do that in study rooms or in library? 
Oh, so all this, uh, we have online lectures, which will be carried out in Zoom. So in this format, we will work for whole semester. No, I mean, I'm in a campus and it will be more comfortable for me in personal. Oh, yeah, but we do not have personal lectures this uh, semester. So all lectures will be online. Uh, all right. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Bye. I just wanted to say, Mr. Bruce, that your name sounds so cool when, like, with Dr. Dr. Bruce. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you for this session. Yeah, no problems. Uh, have a good day and hope to see you next lecture. Yeah, see you. Thank you very much. You Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Take care. Uh, hello, can I ask a question? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, I wanted to discuss about the uh, way of evaluation of our exams. Like in this semester, we have two midterm exams and one final, and each mm -hmm. of them weight 30%. And uh, uh, Sure, those with, with highest grades, yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if one of the exams uh, with the lowest grades will be dropped, then we have like 30% uh, for each two exam. And uh, like mm -hmm. uh, in Long Kappa, uh, when we solve our exams, we have approximately six tasks and uh, we should enter only our answer for each problem. Yes. And like if we like, because of some mistake uh, in our calculations or just because of some Long Kappa uh, rules, or we miss one problem, like mm -hmm. we we will miss our one grade because it was five percent. Yes, I I see your and, point. Uh, so and uh, it's very uncomfortable for students. I think that uh, like uh, physics professors use such way of evaluation because mm -hmm. like. Uh, uh, and professors don't consider the way uh, of uh, how students solve some problem, like uh, steps and the, some calculations. Maybe students uh, understood uh, the whole concept and the topic, uh, but just because of some miscalculations, he uh, will lose his grades, pure his grades. So uh, to address this uh, comment, uh, first of all, if there is some issue originated from Long Kappa, we definitely will address this and we will compensate this lost points. So that um, obviously will be done. And uh, uh, according to the um, uh, mistakes from students, uh, yeah, it is important to uh, follow the, the format and submit in the right format, specifically taking into account that uh, this is already second semester for you guys. So you do have uh, experience working with Long Kappa and you feel the uh, issues which may uh, come up with a Long Kappa system. I totally agree that it's not ideal approach. And uh, uh, unfortunately with online, uh, classes, this is quite uh, difficult to address uh, this issue, taking into account that we have over like 700 uh, students for um, this course. So, uh, uh, but yeah, yeah. Well, like uh, we have also like uh, courses like calculus and the other like general courses where the, there are a lot of students and uh, mm -hmm. some professors organize some uh, better ways of checking uh, our knowledge and uh, maybe in like professor should consider the way of solution and uh, how students solve not only answer and uh, as you can see right from calculus or maybe other courses 
uh, like we see that it's possible and uh, it uh, will be beneficial for the professors and students because uh, a lot of students just uh, cheat, don't understand. And uh, like, as for you as a professor, I think it's your main goal uh, to uh, know that students understand topics and they can really solve problems because it's our base, uh, like basic general courses that uh, we should learn. And then maybe we think that uh, it's not important, but uh, like, I think that the base, like this basic course, the basic topics, it's uh, our very, this is important yeah. topics and it's our start. You're absolutely uh, right. And uh, uh, specifically to address this uh, moment that uh, students, to improve the understanding of uh, concepts behind these problems, I strongly encourage uh, students to uh, visit uh, lectures and actively uh, participate in lectures. Mm. Unfortunately, many students do not follow these advices um, based on experience. Um, so that is definitely um, disadvantage. Uh, and uh, uh, we considered different options for uh, evaluating, uh, specifically taking into account features of um, general physics uh, and solving uh, physics problems. And so far, Long Kappa was the uh, optimal solution for uh, these purposes. Um, it is not ideal Long Kappa and definitely students complain on it. However, other options would be um, more um, complicated and I believe students would complain even more taking into account specifics of um, physics uh, wow. okay uh maybe in this semester professors will consider that if some way 30 percent and like one problem we will uh wait five percent it's whole grade and uh, it's maybe 20 uh, 20 percent um, for ex exam something like that mm -hmm. uh, we will discuss this question further uh, thank you for expressing your point of view. Um, definitely, we will continue our uh, discussion on meetings with uh, instructors. Let's see if we can um, uh, address some uh, of these issues. Uh, I hope, well, in any way, we, we always try to find uh, and understand potential uh, benefits and disadvantages. Uh, so to make it more um, convenient for, for students. Let's see how this uh, aspects which you uh, highlighted can be addressed. So I definitely will raise this um, question and we will try to address it as uh, much as possible. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thank You're you for welcome. your response. Sure, sure. Thank you for your comments. Um, okay, guys, then have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay, goodbye.